So in episode 136 of Confidence Coaching with Heidi Benjaminson, I talk with you about accepting compliments and I share with you lots of reasons why it's possible we're not comfortable accepting compliments. That's a very common thing. So if you have felt that way, don't worry. It means that you're, you're normal, you're human, but here's the thing is this is a really, really good skill for us to master because we will invite so much more positive into our lives when we are willing to accept compliments. This is a very mature thing to be able to do. If we can't accept compliments, well, there's just a sign that there's something going on with our self-esteem, with what we believe about ourselves. And it's a very disconnecting thing to do to other people. So I want you to think about it this way. And I give you several examples in the episode, but I want you to think about it like, like it's either a volleyball game or you see the lovely stick figures here. I'm not the best artist, but like when someone gives you a compliment, they're throwing you a string. And let's think about strings being really connecting with people. They're throwing you a string. They're saying something really positive. When we deflect and say something negative about ourselves, we're really rejecting that thread. We are not connecting with that person. We're also not connecting with ourselves because we're not willing to look at the greatness. We're not willing to see the goodness. So not only not, we're not only not connecting with that person, we are disconnecting further from ourselves. So two very unhealthy habits in a time where we really need to be connecting with our own goodness and we are all starving for connection with other people. So knowing how to do this very simple task is a really good skill. So I want you to think about that. The next time someone gives you a compliment, you are you want to accept that. And it really is just as simple as saying, thank you, that means a lot. So practice saying that, just practice it. Thank you. That means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then be quiet. I was just listening to a podcast of um, Brene Brown and another social scientist that she was, she, both of them, it had been this like great interview and there was clearly so much like mutual appreciation and respect between the two of them. And at the end of the interview, they were both really giving a lot of compliments to each other. And one did it to the other. And she said, they, they just very simply said, thank you. Thank you. I accept that. And because I had been working on this, I really listened for that. And I thought just how beautiful, right? When someone can accept that compliment, it makes us feel better. You know how you have felt if you give someone a compliment and they then say, oh, no, but I didn't do that well. It doesn't feel good inside you because you've been, your emotions have been rejected. Okay. So it's really important. Think about that connection. When we feel good about ourselves, these are little hearts. When we feel good about ourselves, we then can accept those compliments and we don't make it weird. Now it can be uncomfortable sometimes to sit through accepting a compliment. We want to figure out why is that uncomfortable? Are we not fully owning? Where are our insecurities maybe with that thing that someone's complimenting us on? And we want to get good. This is not an arrogant thing or a vain thing to be able to accept compliments. We want to be able to accept them and just say, thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot coming from you, something like that. Um, It's a really good skill for our kids to see us do as we are able to acknowledge this goodness. This is such an important habit for our children to see us do. They become more emotionally mature when they can see us do this. If you would like any help doing this, um, I have just a few spots open for the summer for coaching. Um, Please reach out, make a consult call on my website, HeidiBenjaminson.com.